This is the cluster strategy for division. There are five steps for this strategy. The first step is to make the division problem into a multiplication problem. The second step is choose a landmark or KISS number to use as a factor. Those numbers are 1, 2, 5, or 10. Step number three will have the student subtract the product from the original dividend. Step four is to repeat steps two and three until the difference is in its lowest form. Finally, step number five. Cluster the KISS landmark numbers and add up the factors for the quotient. Here is an example, 414 divided by 18. Step one, make the division problem into a multiplication problem. I have taken the divisor and made that into a factor. I've taken the dividend and made that into a product. Step number two is to choose one of the landmark numbers of either one, two, five, or 10. I know that 414 is a large number, so I use the largest factor. 18 times 10 is 180. Step number three is to subtract the product from the original dividend. 180 from 414 using regrouping gives me 234. At this point, I need to ask myself, is this in its lowest form? No, it's not. So move on to step number four and repeat. Repeating until you get to the lowest form. Here is where we were at. 18 times 10 is 180. 18 times 10 again is 180. 180 from 234 gives me 54. That is not in its lowest form. I choose 2. 18 times 2 gives me 36. 36 from 54 gives me 18. I also know that I can continue on. This is not the lowest form. So I use 18 times 1 and I get 18 with a final difference of 0. 0 is definitely the lowest form. I know I can move on to step number 5 and cluster up all of the landmark numbers that I used in the missing factors. I cluster them and I add them. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. 22 plus 1 is 23. So, 414 divided by 18 is 23. But what about remainders? No sweat, they're just the leftovers. Example, 230 divided by 13. Step one, make the division problem into a multiplication problem. Here's the divisor, now it's a factor. Here's the dividend, now it's a product. Using landmark numbers, I choose 10. 13 times 10 is 130. 130 from 230 is 100. Is that the lowest? No. Repeat. 13 times 5 gives me 65. 65 from 100 gives me 35. Is that the lowest? Nope. 13 times 2. 13 times 2 is 26. 26 from 35 gives me 9. So, I've done steps 1 through 4, and I have 9 as the difference. Can I multiply 13 by any landmark number to get a product of 9? No, I can't. The difference is 
in its lowest form and is a remainder. So, since I have my lowest form, I move on to step number nine. I cluster the factors and add them up. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. So, 230 divided by 13 is 17 remainder 9.